Hello everyone. Welcome to Geeks for Geeks. In this video, we will learn how to insert a whole linked list into other at kth position. Let's see the problem statement first. The problem statement says given two linked list and a number k, we have to insert second linked list into first at kth position. Let's see some examples to demonstrate the above problem. In the first example, we have given first linked list as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Second linked list as 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. And k is given as 2. So, after inserting second linked list at second position of first linked list, we get linked list as 1, 2, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 3, 4, 5. Let's see another example to demonstrate the above problem. We have given a linked list 10, 15, 20. And also we have given a linked list 11, 17, 16, 18 and k is given as 3. So after inserting second linked list at position 3 of first linked list, we get linked list as 10, 15, 20, 11, 17, 16, 18. Let's see the algorithm to solve the above problem. Traverse the first linked list till kth position. After that, join second linked list head node to kth point of first linked list and then traverse the second linked list till end. Last step is to add k plus 1th point of first linked list to the end of second linked list. Now let's see the C implementation of above algorithm. The written type of this function is void since it will only modify the given linked list and will not return anything. The function takes three arguments, head of the first linked list, head of the second linked list and an integer k. k is the position where second linked list is to be inserted in first linked list. Inside this function, we declare a variable count and initialize it with one. This variable keeps track of position when we traverse first linked list. We also declare a variable cur and initialize with head of the first linked list. We will then start traversing the first linked list. And in each iteration, we will move cur pointer by one and increment the value of count by one. When value of count becomes greater than or equal to k, we will stop traversing the first linked list. After this traversal, cur will point to kth node of first linked list. We will then store next of kth node which is k plus 1th node in the variable temp and update next of cur to point to head of second linked list. After this, using head of second linked list, we traverse second linked list till end. When we reach end of second linked list, last node of second linked list is connected to the k plus 1th position of first linked list. This is done by updating next of last node of second linked list with the temp temp points to k plus 1th node of first linked list. So this completes our algorithm. Let's understand the algorithm using an example. Initially, we have given two linked list and a position k. First linked list is given as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Second linked list is given as 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 
and value of k is given as 2. Initially, head of first linked list, head 1, will point to 1. Initially, head of second linked list, head 2, will point to 7. We declare a variable count and initialize it with 1. We take a variable cur and initialize it with head of first linked list. So, initially, cur will point to 1. Initially, both linked lists are separated with head 1 pointing to head of first linked list and head 2 pointing to head of second linked list. After that, we will traverse first linked list till position k using the variable cur. So in iteration 1, value of count becomes 2 and cur points to 2. Since value of count is not less than k, stop traversing first linked list. Now cur points to the kth node of first linked list which is 2. We will then store k plus 1th node which is next of cur in the variable temp. After this step, temp will point to 3. Since we have to insert second linked list at kth position, we update next of cur to point to head of second linked list. After this step, next of kth node, which is 2, will point to 7. Note that cur points on kth node of first linked list. We will then traverse second linked list using head 2. Initially, head 2 will point to 7. After first iteration, head 2 will point to 8. In next iteration, head 2 will point to 9. After this iteration, head 2 will point to 10. In next iteration, head 2 will point to 11. Since Next of 11 is null, we will stop traversing second linked list. Finally, we will join last node of second linked list with k plus 1th node of first linked list. After this step, next of 11 will point to 3. Let's traverse the modified linked list for verification. We start from 1, moves to 2, since Next of 2 points to 7, next node that we encounter will be 7. After 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Now, since next of 11 points to 3, after 11, we move to 3, 4, 5, and finally null. So, we get final output as 1, 2, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 3, 4, 5. This shows second linked list is inserted at kth position of first linked list. Time complexity of this algorithm is O n plus m where n is the number of nodes in the first linked list and m is the number of nodes in the second linked list. With this, we end our tutorial. Thank you for watching. Please leave us your likes and comments.